Usually I start my lessons off with a nice little title, but there's no obvious title for this lesson, so we're starting off looking at the theorem dead in the eye that we're going to be proving. This theorem gives us a sufficient but not necessary condition for a graph to be connected. So here is the theorem. Let G be a graph of order n, so it has n vertices. If the sum of the degrees of every two non-adjacent vertices is greater than or equal to n minus 1, then the graph G is connected and it has a diameter less than or equal to 2. And remember that the diameter of a graph is the greatest distance between any two vertices. The distance between two vertices is the length of the shortest path that connects them. So we'll prove that a graph that fits this condition is connected, and just as a bonus, we'll also prove that its diameter is less than or equal to 2. But again, a graph does not have to fill this condition in order to be connected. Just consider some path graphs for an example. So for starters, we won't bother writing out our hypothesis. We're just assuming it. We're letting G be a graph with n vertices, and the sum of every pair of non-adjacent vertices in G is greater than or equal to n minus 1. Then, to show that G is connected, we need to show that there is a path connecting every pair of vertices. Furthermore, we want to show that there is a path connecting every pair of vertices, and that path has a length less than or equal to 2. So we'll take two arbitrary vertices from our graph. For starters, get the easy possibility out of the way. It's possible that these two vertices we selected are joined by an edge. And if that's the case, then there's a path going straight from u to v. So that is a path of length 1. So if those two vertices uv are joined by an edge, then clearly they are connected, and uv is a path that connects them with length 1. Then we can move on to the more interesting possibility that will take just a little more work. Suppose that the two vertices u and v that we selected are not joined by an edge, so they are non-adjacent vertices. Then we can use our hypothesis about the sum of their degrees. So since u and v are not adjacent, the degree of u plus the degree of v is greater than or equal to n minus 1. This means that there are at least n minus 1 edges joining u or v to some other vertex. We also know that all of these at least n minus 1 edges are joining u or v to a vertex that isn't u or v. We know that because neither u nor v can be adjacent to themselves, and we already assumed that they are not adjacent to each other. So there are at least n minus 1 edges joining u or v to the other vertices. But how many vertices are there besides u and v? Well, there are n vertices total. Subtract u and v from that count, that's n minus 2. So there are at least n minus 1 edges joining u or v to the other n minus 2 vertices. And again, we know this because the degree of u plus the degree of v is greater than or equal to n minus 1, and we know that u and v are non-adjacent. So all of these at least n minus 1 edges have to join u or v to the other n minus 2 vertices. Since n minus 2, the number of other vertices, is less than n minus 1, which is the minimum possible number of edges joining u or v to those vertices, there must be some vertex w such that w is adjacent to u and v. Then, since we know that we have this vertex w that's adjacent to u and v, there is clearly a path from u to v. That path starts at u, then goes to w, and then to v. So the path u, w, v is a path of length 2. And that concludes the proof. Clearly, if two vertices are adjacent, then there is a path of length 1 that goes straight from one vertex to the other. Then, if two vertices are not adjacent, we know by our hypothesis that we assumed about g that the sum of their degrees has to be greater than or equal to n minus 1, where n is the number of vertices in g. Thus, there are at least n minus 1 edges that join u or v to the other n minus 2 vertices that aren't u or v. 
Since n minus 2 is less than n minus 1, this means there's got to be at least one vertex that's adjacent to both u and v. And if we call that vertex w, we see that uwv is a path of length 2. Thus, in a graph that fills our condition, every pair of vertices is connected by a path of length 2 or less. Thus, the graph is connected and its diameter is less than or equal to 2. So I hope this video helped you understand how to prove this sufficient condition for graphs to be connected. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. And a big thanks to Valo, who, upon my request, kindly gave me permission to use his music in my math lessons. Link to his music in the description. Struggling